introduce our nation's celebrities and characters and I'm going to start with this young man. He's the thunder from down under. <laughs> Mick Crocodile Dundee. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> well done Mick. And here I am with our nation's sweetheart. Me! Thank you, thank you. Come on, thank you. And finally, last but not least, the beautiful, the talented actor and singer, Miss Kylie Minogue. Let's give her a round of applause. Now, are we ready to start? I guess so. Okay, <clears throat> all right, ready to start. Let's do this properly. Let's do this. Okay. Um, guten Tag. Ich bin Jacob. Ich bin ein Lara. Oh, uh, well, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to introduce ourselves to these lovely people. I think you're confused. What? These people aren't lovely. Right then, I'll give them a real what? No, 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 no. Not them. Us. We're Australia. Not Austria. <laughs> They're up next. Our official language is English, not German. Oh. Whoops. Well, then does that mean I can speak Aussie English? Yeah, sure, why not? Why are you whispering into the microphones? Well, it conveys the idea of secrecy and let's create another joke. Okay. Right, good day, you lot. This Bonza mob and I are going to give you a good old chin wag about the bits and bobs of the great southern land, Australia. But before we get cracking, let me introduce you to my mob. This top bloke on my lorry, well, that's Bruce. I'm Bruce, and this lovely Sheila, well, that's Bruceette. Let's give him a round of applause. You reckon they got me, Bruce? Oh, she'll be right, Bruce. Don't worry, I got this. So today we want to talk to you guys about the interesting things that make Australia unique. But first, let's actually introduce ourselves. This year is Jake, my name is Meth, and that is Lauren. How do you think I did? Grouse. Cut it out. Okay. We don't really talk like that. Well, we do, but not that intense. We love to turn up our Aussie English whenever we get the chance. We do say good day and we do say mate, but hey guys, I've got a great idea. Why don't we talk about Australian misconceptions? That is a great idea. Alrighty, misconception number one. All men in Australia look like Hugh Jackman and Chris Hemsworth. What do you mean misconception? <laughs> look at us. <laughs> Come on, you've got to be joking. Well. We look better, but most Australians look a bit like <laughs> Thor or Wolverine. But can they do this? All right, all right. Misconception number two. All animals in Australia are trying to kill you. I can definitely say this one's not true. Animals in Australia, they're not trying to kill you. I've only been to the hospital five times for animal-related injuries. What about you, Matt? Three for me. And you, Lauren? Only eight. Eight? Jeez, that seems like a lot. Nah, fair dinkum. The last one was my fault. I tried to jump into the pouch of a kangaroo to get to school, but the flaming kangaroo wouldn't have a bar of it. Ah, oh, honest mistake. We've all been there. And finally, misconception number three. Toilet water flashes in the opposite direction compared to here in the States. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not resorting to toilet humour, are we? Well, not now. Let's be serious. 
Even though Australia has a much smaller population to here in the States, we have definitely punched way above our weight. We, Australia has come up with many inventions that the modern world uses from time to time. Like, for example... Oh, check it out! It's spray on skin! You got it a bit wrong there, mate. But you're right. Spray on skin is a great Australian invention. It greatly reduces the recovery time of burn victims. Spray on skin is one of many inventions. Um, there is a plethora of Australian inventions that everybody uses from time to time. For example, the polymer banknote, boxed wine, the black box flight recorder, the um, cochlear implant, the first uh, uh, penicillin-based antibiotic, the cochlear ear plant, um, the first full-length feature film, uh, the electric drill, the race cam, the ultrasound scanner, the ute, the winged keel. Oh, that was our secret weapon to beat you guys in the American Cup back in 83. Vegemite, the stay sharp knife, dual flush toilet system. Oi, I thought you said no toilet humour. The lawn mower, the solar hot water, notepads, Google Maps, army tanks and many, many more. Give her a round of applause, that was very good. <laughs> now, before I continue, before I continue, I think the most influential Australian invention in recent times has to be uh, what allows me to do this. Right, this group, I want you to bunch in, smile, we're going to take a selfie. Got it? All right, you ready? Don't go Guys, you haven't missed Come on, show us your teeth. All right, smile, show us your choppers. Smile. All right. The Aussie invention of Wi-Fi will allow me to send this back to my mob back in Australia. It's the bee's knees. Cheers, Australia. Australia is not just the country of inventors. It's also a multicultural hub of great people. We're proud to say that we have the longest continuing culture in the world, that is the Aboriginal Australians, with over 50,000 years of history. We also love our sports and we love to, ha love to be a bit of a larrikin, which means comedian. So, most of all, we love to work with people from around the world. That is, we love this opportunity to be working with all of you uh, at this space camp. And to that we say, cheers, cheers mate. mate. Thank you. Thanks.